So now that we covered everything there is to know about pure substances, elements, and compounds, we can finally get into the good stuff, and that is mixtures. So let me go ahead and remind you guys one last time, because I know we've been talking about pure substances for a while, what a mixture is. Mixtures are basically two or more pure substances that are mixed together. For example, if you have sand and salt, put them in a bag, shook it all up, mix it together. You don't have a chemically new compound like water or anything. No chemical reactions are taking place. You just have a bunch of freaking sand in your salt or salt in your sand depending on which one you wanted. Like why would you do that? Why would you even put salt and sand in a bag and shake it up? That's just ridiculous. There's no need for that. Don't do it. So basically they're still two very distinct substances. They're just all mixed and jumbled together now. So whenever we look at our graph we can say okay so how can you jumble things together differently and get these two different types of mixtures homogeneous and heterogeneous well, let's go ahead and take a look at that homogeneous mixtures are sometimes called solutions because they're uniform or same throughout for example if you took some salt and you threw it into a cup of water and you shook it up real good then you would have salt water now whether you took a sample from the top of the glass or the bottom of the glass or somewhere in the middle you're always going to have salt water it's not going to change whether you take a little bit a lot it's all salt water there's nothing you can do about it however a heterogeneous mixture is a little bit different it is not the same throughout and it's not uniform think of this as like if you went to mcdonald's and you got one of those delicious delicious chicken salads you would have like chunks of chicken in it and you would have some lettuce hopefully not too much of lettuce that's gross we want the chicken and you know maybe some mayonnaise in there <laughs> why not throw some cheese in there so you pretty much have a bunch of crap mixed together but you can still it still has a very distinctive parts so while homogeneous mixtures are something like kool-aid where you put everything together and mix it all up and you can't tell what's what it all looks uniform and the same heterogeneous mixtures is basically just the opposite it's not the same throughout the crap is mixed together but you can still recognize the different pieces the parts are still very distinct so now let's go ahead and recap what we learned one last time matter is split up into two parts pure substances in mixtures. I think we cover that enough. Let's go ahead and touch on these four and give you an example of each. An example of an element would be something like gold, where all of the atoms are the same. An example of a compound would be something like water, where you have two different types of atoms. And we'll talk about atoms later on. Two different types of balls. Some hydrogen, some oxygen. That's what you get in order to make a compound. Both of these things are classified as pure substances by chemists. Not me chemists blame them if you don't like it now with mixtures it's pretty much a bunch of pure substances mixed together a homogeneous mixture is something like kool-aid where you have the uh... what's it called the flavoring the sugar the water you mix it all together and there aren't any chemical reactions that's taking place you just can't tell what's what it all looks the same heterogeneous however is different it's like a salad all your craps mixed together but it has very distinct and you can still recognize the different pieces on it. So basically, gold, water, Kool-Aid, chicken salad, that's all you need to know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.